Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, in the Community Risk Reduction course and talk about evaluation. There's a lot of information on the website, um, on the course site, about evaluation that you can read and look over. There's a very good video from that was produced from Vision 2020 uh, on uh, the evaluation and evaluation process. I'm a big, I'm a big evaluation person. I think that in my job, uh, I did not do a great job of evaluation. And it's all about knowing that we have made a difference. And there's different stages that we can um, uh, use along the way in our program to know that we are making a difference. And we can't just say, hey, we gave out a bunch of gun locks. We did a great job and move on to the next project. How many gun locks did you give out? Uh, what did people do with them? Uh, I actually have a gun lock that I use as a lock for my bike. Is that what people are using them for? Or are they using them like they should? Are people using them at all? So um, evaluation is what's going to help us determine that we are meeting the goal of our program and ultimately that we're making a difference. And that's what we want to do is to make a difference uh, in our community. So um, the development of an evaluation plan is important. It has to start um, when you develop your program. You can't wait till the end and say, oh, how are we going to evaluate? Because it, um, it's, it has to be effective. It has to be um, planned into the program. Uh, you have to have baseline data. Baseline data means how many people have smoke alarms now? Or how many um, people don't have, how many gun incidents have we had? How many people are using bike helmets? I remember getting a grant for a bike helmet uh, program. And we had to go out to the community before we did the, um, the bike rodeo and count the number of kids wearing bike helmets. And then after the program was over, after we had distributed the helmets, we went back to the same community and counted the number of kids that were wearing bike helmets. So it's, it's something that you have to, to have that baseline data. You have to... Um, you have to factor in evaluation into your program development along the way. You just can't wait till the end. There's a lot of benefits. First of all, funders. Funders want to know where their money went and was it effective. When you can tell people that we did a survey and X number of people um, put the gun locks that we gave out to good use. Uh, they've locked up their guns. They've unloaded their guns or whatever your, your goal is with that particular program. How many people are wearing um, uh, personal flotation devices at the lake now, um, meaning that you have to have some sort of observation beforehand of how many people were not wearing them or how many people were wearing them before your program. So uh, it does give us a lot of good benefit. It gives us objective and factual information. And, you know, this feel-good feeling that we get when we do uh, prevention education is good. Uh, I used to always think, oh, they loved me. I did a great job. I feel so good. But feel good feelings don't, um, you know, when you're looking at a budget cut or a grant, they don't really carry a lot of weight. We need factual, quantitative data that tells us we have done a good job. So it's good, going to help us with our program effectiveness, uh, looking at our impact and our outcome. Uh, it's going to identify problems in your program. Maybe nobody is using the gun locks. They are using them on their bikes. So um, why is that? What did we do wrong? And that does not mean that you throw your program out totally and say, oh, that was a bad idea. It just means you need to tweak it a little bit and change it up a little bit. Um, it, you may be able to reallocate some funding for programs that maybe aren't as successful or aren't, aren't being used. One of the, some of the challenges with evaluation is we look at uh, we think it's a, a statistical process, which yeah, it can be, but there's lots of resources. There's lots of people out there to help, but it doesn't counting kids wearing bike helmets is not that statistical. You know, it was just, we did little hash marks and uh, got it done that way. Some things it's hard to measure. How are we going to know if these people are using bike locks um, or the bike locks, <laughs> gun locks on, on, their, uh, on their guns? How are we going to know that they're using them the right way? Um, you could do surveys, you could do observations, you can ask questions. Um, you know, those are, those are some different kinds of evaluation. A lot of times we don't want to evaluate because we're afraid we messed up or that we're not doing a good job. But ultimately, 
we need to evaluate because if we're not doing a good job, we need to know that. And we need to know it now before we spend any more money. So um, even though you may not have a lot of expertise in evaluation, it doesn't mean that you can't do it. There's, there's lots of resources out there. Um, the things that you have read have identified different processes or different levels of evaluation, the first of which is the process. And this, when I think about these levels of evaluation, there's process, impact, and outcome. Our process evaluation is the actual um, administering of the program. This is how many presentations are we going to do? How many bike uh, rodeos are we going to do? How many people did we see? How many helmets did we distribute? Uh, how many smoke alarms did we install? How many homes did we uh, do safety surveys on? That kind of thing. Uh, so it's kind of the, the processes, um, the, the how many. Usually it is related to uh, a number. It is who is being reached. If we're trying to target our Hispanic population in a community, how many Hispanic individuals attended our programs or our events? Uh, so that, that's, that's another thing uh, to think about as well. Impact evaluation. This is the short-term impact of, the, of our program. Um, are they wearing bike helmets? Are they using the gun locks? Are people using child safety seats and using them properly? Um, uh, that sort of thing. Um, it's did they make an environmental change? If we are doing a program that's targeting falls prevention for our senior adults, did they make environmental changes in their home? Did they pick up the throw rugs or did they install new lighting? That kind of thing. Um, and again, there's various ways that you can document or find out that information. But that's impact. That's the initial impact. And with impact evaluation, we want to see something that ha we usually want to see an increase. We don't want to see an increase in the number of people that change their environment, the increase in the number of people using bike helmets, uh, gun locks, um, personal flotation devices. And then the last level of evaluation is outcome. This is long term. This is five years, six years down the road that we uh, may be longer. And what this is, that we want to see a decrease here. We want to see if, if our program is about um, gun, accidental uh, gun use or, or, or gun use by children, whatever your, your target is, um, did we see a decrease in the number of accidental shootings uh, or the use of guns by children? Do we see um, a decrease in the number of drownings if our program is targeting uh, personal flotation device use or, or that's the, the you know, drowning prevention? Um, increase in the use of, if we're doing smoke alarms, did we see a, a decrease in the number of fire deaths uh, in even the number of fires? So we want to see, this is that long-term outcome that will come from our run reports, is statistical data, but we hope that what we are doing is making a difference. Maybe we have targeted the wrong audience and maybe we're targeting the wrong intervention in some way. And, but we want to make sure that we know that and we recognize that. Evaluation is a huge piece. You can do it for each individual uh, piece of your program. If you're using the five E's and you've got five interventions uh, that you're looking at, you can evaluate each one. Um, ultimately, that, that impact evaluation is going to be that overall impact, the total program impact that you have. Um, but uh, I can't stress enough, you want to make sure that you, anytime that you are looking at doing a new program, uh, click it or tick it, uh, how are we going to evaluate the impact of this program? How are we going to evaluate our process? How many citations were written? Um, and after that, how many, you know, by observation, how many more people are wearing their seatbelt? Whatever it may be, you need to, um, make sure that not only in developing um, positive interventions that are going to be effective for your target audience, that we are thinking of how we can evaluate this. Pre-test, post-test, uh, observational surveys. Um, you could send um, surveys to home with people or call later, especially in a small town where you know the people that came and that you've dealt with. Uh, you do a home survey, you go back later, uh, all kinds of ways that we can evaluate. But the, the whole point is that if we don't evaluate in some way, we're missing the mark um, because we don't know if we're making a difference. And that's why we're doing this in the first place. So uh, always be thinking about evaluation. 
Uh, there's courses that are given on evaluation. There's lots of resources on the website. Uh, the CDC has a great program on evaluation. Uh, Vision 2020 has their program, that video on evaluation that is good. Um, so, but always think about evaluation, always be thinking evaluation. So as a part of your community risk reduction project, you want to make sure that you include how you're going to evaluate your program. Um, if you have questions about evaluation, be sure to let me know. Uh, but always, always, always be thinking, how can I evaluate this? Because I used to say that if we're preventing something, we can't evaluate what we have prevented. But I believe that we can. Sometimes you have to get creative to do it. But I do believe that we can uh, evaluate in ways that help us document our time, document our efforts, and document the effects of our program. So I would encourage each one of you to look at these items uh, and take this information to heart and always be thinking about evaluation anytime that you are doing a new program. Uh, I hope this kind of straightens out or, or clarifies some of the information that was on the website. Certainly, uh, there's a lot of information there, but if not, be sure and let me know, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.